Elementary particles are those particles which do not have their internal structure or say which internal structure cannot be described. Elementary particles can be classified on the basis of their masses. They are classified into two groups. They are they are leptons and hadrons. Leptons are the very lightest particle. They are very lightest particle with mass with mass less than with mass less than 139 mega electron volt per c square. So mega electron volt per c square is the mass actually. Okay, it's E by E equals to we already know e equals to m c square. And when take out m equals to E by c square, and E can be written as mega electron volt by c square. So mass can be expressed in the terms of mega electron volt by c square for such tiny elementary particles. So leptons are the lightest elementary particles with so the mass less than 139 mega electron volt per c square. Okay. So of the very important or some of the very famous leptons are electrons, muons, and tau. Electrons, muons, and tau. Let me write their names. Electron. Mion and tau. We already know about electron. It is a elementary particle with negative charge. Similarly, muons and tau are a kind of other kind of variant of electrons because they also carry the negative charge. But talking about mass, muons and tau are little heavier than electrons. And along with this, along with this electron. Electron neutrino, electron neutrino, mu neutrino, and tau neutrino. They also falls under the same categories. You might be thinking, what actually are neutrinos, and how are these electron neutrinos, mu neutrinos, and Tau neutrinos came over here. They are they might be very uh, new concept or new word for you. So let me explain. Uh, you might have read about beta positive and beta negative decay. So it is a process in which the nucleus gets disintegrates. During this uh, beta positive decay and beta negative decay, electron neutrino positive electron neutrino and negative electron neutrino they uh, they form so that during the disintegration of the nucleus similarly during such similar disintegration or such similar decay mu neutrino and tau neutrino are also get produced you can check out the reaction over here These are some elementary particles that falls under leptons and along with this and along with electron, muons and tau and electron neutrino, muon neutrino and tau neutrino, there are empty particles also, the anti-electron, anti-muon, anti-tau, anti-electron, anti-electron neutrino, anti-muon neutrino, anti-tau neutrino, they also falls under the same categories. So, I shall write here anti particles. Let's understand this is anti particles of everything over here. So, collectively, we can say there are around 2 belt leptons that falls under this category. Now, let's talk about hadrons. Hadrons can be classified into two groups. Hadrons can be classified into two groups. They are mesons, they are mesons and baryons. 
they are mesons and baryons mesons are intermediate particles mesons are intermediate particles intermediate particles with mass with mass between 139 to 939 mega electron volt per c square i already told that mega electron volt per c square is a unit of mass so intermediate particles means the particles these are the particles which falls under the category of mesons between leptons and baryons so they are medium sized particles so let me describe a little about mesons what actually are they okay let us take a nucleus and inside the nucleus there are nucleons that means elect that means proton and neutrons okay protons and neutrons now looking at this diagram over here we can tell that this proton carries the positive charge here it carries the positive charge the same positive charge over here and neutron has no charge because of the same charge of proton they should get repelled from each other the far away from the nucleus they should come out of the nucleus and stay far away from each other but actually that is not happening so and why is not that happening that is because there exists the particles which exchange the force between the nucleons and that particles which exchange the force between the nucleons they are called mesons so mesons are such kind of particles and we can take some of the members of mesons they are pi mesons kions and eta pi mesons kions and eta are some of the members of mesons family let's talk about baryons baryons are the happier particles baryon are the happier or say happiest particles heaviest particles with mass with mass more than heaviest particles with mass more than 939 mega electron volt per c square so they are the heaviest particles they are the heaviest particles with mass more than 390 mega electron volt per c square so the very famous and popular members of this group are proton and neutron proton and neutron so this is the classification of elementary particles on the basis of mass let me summarize this we talked about leptons leptons are the lightest particle with a mass less than 139 mega electron volt per c square so of the popular or so of the famous members of this group are electron muons and tau where is where they have negative charge electrons muons and tau also do have a neutrinos associated with them they are electron neutrino muon neutrino and tau neutrino along with this they also possess their anti particles so we can call that there are around 12 leptons in leptons family talking about hadrons hadrons can be classified into the two groups mesons and baryons mesons are the intermediate particles with a mass 139 to 939 mega electron volt per c square so the members that falls under mesons are pi mesons kions and eta So these are the particles which exchange the force between the nucleus and make the nucleus stable. 
Now talking about baryons, baryons are the heaviest particles with the mass more than 939 mega electron volt. So the very famous and popular members of this group are proton and neutron.